Episode of Stogie from the road on the side of the road. Hey, how are you? Guess who's back? This guy. Guys, we're in Nebraska, heading to Pennsylvania from Washington State. <coughs> Not a fan. I think I said that in my last video. Not a fan of the East Coast. I don't want to go, but I'm going to go because if we don't do it. Who will? So, going to be a quick video today. There's been some new developments in the old Stogie land. Um, and it's not really trucker related. You know, you kind of go through life day after day. And you get to the ripe old age of 45 like Mr. Stogie is here. And you kind of adapt to the way you are as a person. You just kind of take the way you are and the way you do things. And you say, okay, that's just commonplace. That's just the way I am. Right? Right, I know I'm right, because that's what I did. So while I was at my home time this week, this past week that just went by, excuse the vehicles that go by every time I park, there's always a plethora of trucks going by. While I was at home during my home time, I typically, I go home for a week. I'll go out for five, six weeks, then go home for a week. And during that week, I'll get caught up on things, errands, and doctor's appointments because I'm at that age to where I'm doing everything from doctor's appointments to tending to ear hair and weird stuff like that. So anyway, went to see my doctor. Sat down with my doctor and I was talking about the way I do things and how life is going and uh, things of that nature. And she asked me, you ever been tested for ADHD? I was like, no. I don't even know what it is, really. Does it mean I need to get one of those fidget spinners? And she's like, no, Sean, that's not it. She goes, I want you to see somebody. I want to do an assessment on you. I want to find out if you've got ADHD. So I said, all right. So the following day, I do this little Zoom call. And I tell you what, I've never done a Zoom call before. So I was like the quintessential senior citizen dealing with downloading the app, doing it. By the time I was talking to that damn lady, I was all freaking sixes and sevens and pissed off. I'm like, you said piece of shit, god damn. Why can't you just call me on the phone like a normal person? Anyway, I think I'm turning into my father. Um, so anyway, we do the old Zoom call and talk to her and something happened that I never thought would happen. The first time in my life, including childhood and elementary school and high school and whatnot, I got a perfect score on a test. I am off the freaking charts, ADHD. So, when something like that happens, ultimately I delve into and research and obsess um, anything. And I found out that that's kind of the way I am. And it all kind of ties in and why I do what I do and why I feel the way I feel. The point I'm trying to make is, you know, it doesn't matter if you're 15, 25, 45, or 55, or 65, whatever have you. It's never too late to kind of get answers on who you are, what you are as a person. And it you spend your entire life, you know, my 45 years, strangling and choking the life out of this life that I live, trying to figure out why do I struggle with this? And why do I struggle with that? And then when you get that core solution or that core diagnosis of what you are, then things get easier. You figure out, okay, I'm this way and I react this way because of this. And then you can address it properly. Um, guys, the reason I'm telling you this is because this, this forum, this platform, whether it's YouTube or TikTok or whatever, when it comes to trucking, is just inundated with things like load securement and trucking and bitching and you know I fall into the bitching about truck stops and the changing of the trucking industry but one thing that is skipped more than anything in trucking is the mental health of truck drivers 
you know, we are in this truck and we are stuck in this prison of our own mind. And it turns into a three ring circus nine times out of 10 because we don't have any control over life because we're confined to this space and typically we're two, 3,000 miles away from home. And it turns into this snowball. And what I want and what I desperately want in this industry is for us to be okay with starting to really kind of get our arms around this mental health aspect of trucking. We get our arms around this mental health aspect of trucking and start addressing these issues and understanding that if you're not a truck driver but you're associated with a truck driver or you, you hire a truck driver or you're married to a truck driver to understand that only maybe 50% of the battle that we deal with out here is the actual truck and the part of the job. The other 50% of what we deal with is this up here. And that can make or break you when you're out here on the road. If you don't attack that and get your arms around it, then you're destined for failure. So I'm putting myself out there, letting you guys know something about me and it's personal and it's about who I am to let you guys know, to be strong enough to be able to say, hey, we're human beings here. This is no different than high blood pressure or diabetes or having a bump foot, you know? I live my life with this mindset of concentrate 90% on the solution and 10% on the problem. Well, the problem is that I got a little, uh, little problem up here with the old noggin, but there's a solution to it. And to stay the course, to stay on top of it, so I can have a better quality of life and I can still enjoy driving this big, beautiful orange Peterbilt. So anyway, this is a quick video. I'm just letting you know, I haven't checked in with you guys in a while. There's definitely gonna be a lot more to come. I'm having problems with memory issues on my phone. I'm uh, getting ready to get a MacBook, hopefully soon to where I can do uh, some more editing and put some more footage. I've got a ton of footage, but I don't have anything to do with it right now because I'm having memory issues. So just be patient with me. There's a lot more content coming down the line. Just hang in there with me. Thank you so much for being here. I love each and every one of you guys and um, I appreciate all the support I'm finding support from here all the way across the pond over in Europe and things like that it's really growing and it's really getting to turn into something that I always dreamt that it would be so please stay with me guys be patient with me I love you all and Obani and I will see you on the back home giddy up